Oh, here we go again then. What have you got for me, Jack Howard? Yeah, no, I'm not a feminist. Well, finally, a cuck who isn't a feminist. Um, I just believe in equal rights is something I said about a year ago. Why then, Jack? You are an egalitarian, my friend. Um, little did I know, that is feminist. No, no. This is a feminist. A couple of years ago, I used to make a podcast called The Man Time Podcast. Ironically named, um, I... This isn't the best way to start a conversation about feminism. When has there ever been a good way to start a conversation about feminism, Jack? Never. Which is why they normally start off with, you can't say that, that's not funny, or I'm offended. Or in the case of Zana, that man just sexually harassed me. I used to make a podcast exclusively for men, but we did used to make jokes about feminism and stuff like that. And I used to have the opinion, bloody feminists, and things like that. Th these are the things I used to say. And you used to be a smart guy, Jack. What happened? We're worried about you. And it doesn't feel like it's me anymore. Uh, and if you were offended by the way I used to be, I apologise. Now See, now someone said they're offended. We can now talk about feminism. Now I do identify as a feminist. And what feminism means to me is that men and women should be equal and be able to have the same opportunities and do the same things as the other one. It shouldn't depend on gender, basically, is what I'm trying to say. Which, to me, seems bloody obvious. Like yes, it seemed obvious to you all those years ago when you were an egalitarian, Jack. Like, why is why has someone made a rule that that isn't the case? You are right there, Jack, but not in the way you think you are. Someone did make the rule that that is not the case. It was a third-wave feminist who said women aren't equal to men because women are superior. I think that, you know how your granddad is, like, a bit racist? And it's like, oh, granddad, you can't say that anymore. Mate, my granddad fought in World War II. He can say what the fuck he wants as far as I'm concerned. That is going to be our generation, but with sexism and hopefully homophobia as well. Come on, Jack. Stay on topic. Stay focused. We're talking about gender, not sexuality. They are different things. So when we get old, we'll be the last generation that says sexist and homophobic things. And our grandchildren will be like, why was this ever allowed? So you're saying this is a future where you're not allowed to say certain things. That sounds fucking terrifying, Jack. Sexism's gonna be the least of your problems. It won't seem normal, which to me, and I'm sure a majority of people, it doesn't seem normal to think and feel these things. Oh, so we should shun things that aren't considered normal. Do you have many disabled friends, Jack? Th why I need feminism? Look at this look, okay. I, before I talk about this, uh, here's a disclaimer. I didn't buy this, this was a gift. And it's a bit of a rubbish gift anyway, so whoever got it for me, I mean, I use it a lot. But See, ordinarily, that would constitute a good gift, wouldn't it? Something that you use a lot. But fuck it, you're a feminist, you're confused. But like, it's a- look at this, it's a car. Well, no, you can't be that confused if you're recognising shapes. Red, lovely, sports car. Fucking hell, was this video filmed on fucking Sesame Street? Inside it, grooming products. You got your nail scissors, nail clippers, tweezers, and a nail file. Jack, are you selling these things or something? Got tweezers. Uh, yeah, I've got tweezers, yeah. Can I borrow one? Yeah, yeah, do you want some tweezers? Yeah. Thanks. It's, it's a bit gay though, isn't it? But it's disguised in this car. Oh no, I'm absolutely feeling very, very positive and reinforced in my masculinity about using these beauty products. Thank you. Bye. Oh yeah, no, that that didn't seem set up at all. Not in the slightest. You oh you fucking nailed the spontaneity there. I groom myself, I'm not embarrassed about saying you don't look like this. By accident. If you're suggesting that someone made you look like that on purpose, then I think you've got grounds for a lawsuit. I thought about this the other day. I'd, I've had this for ages, and I thought, why is it in this car? Like, think about that. Well, you say that you've had it for ages, and then you say that you only really noticed it the other day. So, all that time that has been there, it's not been a fucking problem, has it, Jack? It's only now that you're a feminist, you're finding offence everywhere. And you only just notice it. W were you perhaps stoned at the time? Would you feel better if the car were pink, Jack? Would that be less offensive to you? Obviously, I'm focusing on what I experience personally, but that's not on, is it? On Tumblr, I've spoken about this sort of thing before, about how I see myself as a feminist. Well, then might I suggest fucking off back to Tumblr? Um, but I got told that I can't be a feminist because it's a movement for women by women. And I think that's quite a backwards way of thinking. Don't you dare say the words backwards thinking when you've been going on about a fucking grooming kit. I'm happy to be told I'm wrong. I'm always happy to be told that my viewpoint is, is misconstrued. I'm always happy to put my hands up and say sorry. Well, then you're a bit of a doormat, aren't you, Jack? 
You're just changing your viewpoints willy-nilly whenever anyone says no. I mean, you're far too eager for people to like you, and whenever you do have a viewpoint, it doesn't mean anything. They called me a feminist ally, which I think is just... You, you're just segregating people. Why are you doing that? Emma Watson recently made a speech, you know, Hermione, off of Harry Potter. You mean the one where she sounded like she was going to burst into passionate tears of oppression at any moment? Yeah, I know the one. She made a speech about feminism, and I agreed with pretty much all of it. She's not watching this, Jack. There's no need to say that, you fucking bum licker. Except she said that the word shouldn't be important. It's what it stands for and what you do. I agree, but I also don't. You agree and you also don't. Contradicting terms. Yeah, you are definitely a feminist now. Because people, men and women, shouldn't be scared of identifying themselves with femme, female, the femme bit at the beginning. It means that you aren't afraid of using female connotations towards yourself, especially for men. Because I know that some people, they want to, lads, yeah, that's why you want to be seen. Jack, if a male put femme at the beginning, it would be fucking female. It's not about being afraid of the fucking connotations, mate. It's about using the correct words for things. But if you can identify yourself as feminine, I think it shows that things are progressing more because we aren't scared of separating each other. Jack, what's wrong with separating us? We are two different genders. It works well enough for toilets. What's, what's wrong with being masculine? What's wrong with being feminine? Why are you so insistent that we join this asexual middle ground? Are you getting lonely there, Jack? Is that what it is? We're worried about you. I think it's also easy to get confused between being a feminist and a straight white male. Well, one's a human being and the other's the scum of the earth. Though we are arguing about which one's which. Uh, which I am. I know that women aren't just objects, so I think I found a nice middle ground where I know that women aren't just objects, but I am attracted to them. And I think you just admitted being attracted to objects. But I'm also attracted to their brains. First you're a feminist, now you're a zombie. Make your mind up, Jack. But I do like boobs. What are you gonna do? You know, it really shouldn't have taken that long to find something that we both agree on, Jack. But thank you for your video. I'll look out for your next one where you probably come out as a fucking Scientologist.